Hello everyone, welcome to The Messenger. It's here, like I promised. It's probably gonna go up a little bit late today, but I'm here. So uh, there is a cool little uh, animated cutscene for this uh, that explains a little bit of the story at the beginning, so I'll go ahead and put that in right here. Alright, so cool little cutscene, kind of explaining what's going on. Um, as far as I understand, Sea of Stars is a prequel to this, and uh, this is not going to be a blind playthrough, because I have played this game before. Um, I actually had to buy the game again, because I did not, for the life of me, remember where I played this. It might have been on Game Pass when The Messenger was on Game Pass, that sounds right. But I had to buy it. Um, so yeah, well, I guess I never bought it the first time if I had if I played it on Game Pass, but yeah, now I own it. I absolutely 100% don't mind supporting this game. So another day, still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun. All we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army, this magic scroll, that. Nothing's happened in centuries. So why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. There's demons out there. Gather around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Oh, great. Another lecture. God, listen to that music. Guess I should at least show up this time. Yee. Yeah. There I am. There's me. So, I'm gonna have to remember how to play this game. Because, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of mechanical depth in this with the platforming and stuff. And obviously we have small amounts of health, so we gotta be careful. Um, I'm also going to try to keep an eye out for secrets and stuff. Um, I can't guarantee I will get all of the orbs or whatever, but I'm going to try. I already know the reward for getting all of the orbs. That's basically just like the col a collectible you can get, so... Uh, but we'll see. Right on time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. So... Jump, hit, jump. So basically when you hit something in the air, um, you see this little cloud that appears below me? You get the ability to jump again after that. Um, I actually had my own way of doing this that made it a lot easier. Which is, um, I would, I would hit A and X at the same time. So I hit and jump on, like, basically the same frame. And that's how I got through a lot of the more challenging things in this. Just makes it easier. Because you don't have to worry about actually swapping between the two buttons. You can just kind of go. So, still seems to work like how I remember. Well, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? But no. Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot inside out anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real, and should they? Oh, listen to that. Listen to that 8-bit, the ground is shaking sound effect. They have returned. This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out. Well, everybody but me is now dead. <clears throat> so let's go. And things are looking very, very not great. Don't go. You, you are not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not a true solstice warrior yet. I'm not going to be able to help constantly uh, connecting this to Sea of Stars. Burn it all! Bring the humans to their knees! Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Are you really all they've got? Pathetic. Prepare to die. 
That sound impossible. It's my friend, the Western Hero. Riding a Phoenix. Bang, bang, bang. It seems luck is with you this day. Barth. Barmathazel. 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 Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. Barmathazel. <laughs> Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the autumn hills. Yeah, I'm ready to hear the music again. Are you... a western hero? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak's summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. Who are you? Why is this scroll important? You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. They said the thing! I got the scroll. You've been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across your cursed world. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. So, yeah, like I mentioned in the update video, this is the, like, basically start of the user-voted time slot on the channel. Um... I'm going to be having names of uh, the patrons and stuff in the credits soon. Uh, I just got to work out a layout for that and everything. But yeah, once this wraps up, people will be voting on a new thing. So. Oh yeah, there it is. Wow. Wow. Oh, you love to hear it. Oh, you really do. God, I love this game. I love this game so much. It's so exciting to be playing it. I don't think it properly came across how much I actually love the messenger in, um, <clears throat> when I was playing Sea of Stars, but um, it was one of the few games I got like totally obsessed with like back when I actually wasn't recording things. Because one of the things I constantly struggled with uh, before I started recording stuff for the channel um, was I really, really had a hard time playing a game and sticking with it. Um, I would kind of just go back to old, like, games that I'd played a lot of and stuff, but I had a hard time trying new stuff because nothing could ever hold my attention. But the two main things I remember being something that really held my attention were this and Hollow Knight. I was completely enamored with Hollow Knight and this. I played both of them late, like, well after they had came out. But once I had gotten around to them, I was absolutely in love. So it's super, super interesting to be playing this on, uh, the channel now, so... Yeah! Hopefully I don't disappoint and don't screw anything up. Um... So... Yeah. Hello. Are we gonna see our friend? Hey! How we doing? Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? Yeah, this is the shop. Doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of the faraway mountain where three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order? So slow down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. Look, just keep going eastwards. Make sure you grab all those time shards you see lying around. You can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. Person's on the house. Enjoy! You got the climbing claws. Press against walls while airborne to stick to them. Anything? I don't want to chat about. So, climbing claws? Oh yeah, you can press against walls and cling to them. Climb at your leisure. Makes sense. Where everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yeah, that's why John Guyton invented them... <laughs> ...decades ago. <laughs> Who's John Guyton? Uh, ne never mind, just an acknowledgement I needed to get out of the way. I... I don't get it. Some will. <laughs> I love shopkeepers so much. Seriously, though, where are we? Curious, are we? In time you'll come to realize that the question is not where, but when. That's it? Listen, I, I know you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. Wouldn't you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Kids these days. What do you want to chat about? Any stories to share? You have any stories to share? Of course! Here's one for you. There once was a servant who didn't know how to read. 
The day came where his master asked him to read something for her, to which he replied, I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. So he went out in the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in a small town. So he opened up his own. Really picked up, so he built many more and became rich in the process. One day, his accountant asked him to review a piece of a document, to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said, if you, become a, if you became a millionaire without even knowing how to read, just imagine where you would be if you could read. Oh, I know exactly where I would be, the rich man replied. I'd be a servant. The end. What? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't. He asked for a story. I like the long version of When Life Gives You Lemons. Alright, since you don't seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. Now fuck off, you little shit. <laughs> Upgrade, yes. Okay, so. Uh, Karuda plates. Um, concealed arm guards make you more resilient er, resistant. Ranged attack. Tap into your mind's key charges, allowing you to throw energy shuriken with Y. Um, strike at the ninja. Attack enemy projectiles. Empower your attacks, letting you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off of them. That's a pretty useful one. So, how are your attacks letting you destroy any projectiles? You can even cloud step. That seems good. We'll grab that. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Good. So yeah, we have like a little upgrade tree that I can go through and stuff like that. Maybe I'll touch the cabinet. I already told you, the cabinet is off limits. Believe me, you're really not ready for what's in there. You think you can just barge into my place and go through my stuff like you own the place? There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put that curiosity to good use in the outside world? Maybe, I don't know, save humanity? If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. This is your last warning. You better make sure you know you have some time ahead of you if you're gonna touch that again. You asked for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. You know, it gets pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. The one thing that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked that code, you see. Everyone has goals. So you think, oh, what? Oh, when I have this, I'll be happier. When I achieve that, I'll feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply hope Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. <laughs> From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future, to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail, because once you reach your goal, you're not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mind says to choose something and to chase something instead of uh, enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state, it's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry-pick the people around you. That's every day you're just stoked to live your own life and you don't need to defer any joys because you optimize the present moment. I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life and that implies that you should stop trying to open my cabinet, so I really hope I bored you to death. You didn't. You should see what I did to the last traveler who got nosy. Hey, I heard that. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you. Leave me your... <laughs> okay, now it's sleeping. I, I had to do it. I had to do it. I really did. It was kind of a requirement, so. Now we have the ability to grab onto walls. Um, I am trying to keep an eye out for, like, secret walls and stuff. Um, but we'll see. Uh, alright. In here, I just, I'm constantly suspicious. Alright, so we got a bunch of projectiles. Go ahead and smack that. Yeah, being able to smack projectiles is very, very helpful. I think it's even required at some points for platforming because there will be a bunch of these dorks and you have to jump off their projectiles to get to the other side of the screen or something. God, why does this game have such a just awesome soundtrack? Rainbow Dragon Eyes, truly just an absolute master of their crafts. It's quite amazing. Uh, hey, I believe that is a full heal. It's currently hanging out right behind you. It's like a, uh... Uh, it's basically just like a little bottle 
Um, I'm not really sure what you would call it, because uh, Sekiro also had one. But yeah, it just like holds medicinal uh, liquid, I believe. So that heals us. I believe it's a full heal, but I might be wrong. I hate these little shits. I hate them so much. My first hit, right there, just like that. And at least uh, the shopkeeper may have not may have not have given us the ability to. Uh, to skip the story, but I can give people the ability to skip the story, so I'll put a, uh, I'll put a link to, uh, skip the story in the video, probably. Alright, so this is a checkpoint, but we specifically can't go see the shopkeeper from here, so we gotta continue forward. But yeah, I know there's, there's collectibles hidden around. I do not for the life of me remember exactly where all of them are or uh, anything like that, but they do exist. And yes, we can swim. What a concept. Oop. Up. Up. Oh, oh, you gotta press... Oh, God, it's this kind of swimming. Oh, I forgot it was this kind of swimming. It's like Mario swimming. Hello. And that healed us. Yeah, I can't remember if it's like a full heal or if it's like three health pips. And not for the life of me, recall. <clears throat> well, hopefully we can glide through this game pretty quickly since uh, I've uh, played it before and we can get to the next thing. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what people vote for and stuff. Bang, bang, bang. Alright, so now that is done... We are good. Whoop. Gotcha. And good. Okay, so... <clears throat> I guess we just drop down here, yeah? I do your two little shoots. I do think, um... I started the uh, DLC for this game, but I never actually finished it. So, uh, I will actually be totally blind on that when we get to, uh, Picnic Panic, I believe it's called. It's also a free DLC, so I don't have to worry about buying it. But, uh, yeah. I did boot it up, but I never finished it. <coughs> so. It's fairly short, too. It's just like two and a half hours. Anything? Uh, I do think I want the Energy Shuriken because, uh, I do use that quite a bit. From what I recall. It's just a good thing to throw out. Especially in boss fights and stuff. I uh, should probably get the extra HP. Leave. There we go. Yeah, you can just kind of wail on some bosses with it. Or like some really problematic enemies. So these are just for jumping, I think. Yeah, I think that's what they're there for. Why is that there? What would I possibly need that for if the shop is right over there? You heal when you go in those, right? I think you do. Because I could have sworn I'd been missing some HP, but maybe I wasn't. You might not heal when you go into the shops. Hi. Bing. Whoop. Okay. Got hit there, but we're fine. It is just such a amazing game to platform in. Like, it feels totally fantastic just to run around in. It's so fluid and just great. I, I, I really... You're, you're gonna hear me gush about this game a whole lot. That. That is what I need, I think. <clears throat> I think... I think that's what I need right there. But I don't think I can reach it right now, possibly. See that little circular thing with an arrow pointing up over there? I think that means if I get to that bit of the wall there, that I will be able to do a thingy. Is there an enemy over here? No. No enemy or anything to bounce off of. But yeah, I think if I go up on that wall, like if I can somehow catch it, I can get to uh, a secret. And uh, those are all the things I'm going to try and collect. So we'll see if that works out or not. Um, I'll probably add that to a list. Ooh, so I can keep track of, uh, everything. Okay. 
This is a uh, rude scenario we currently find ourselves in. There we go. I wasn't originally planning to do that, but I thought, you know, why not? Just go ahead and take out this problem, because I only have 2 HP left. And if you somehow manage to uh, clip me, that would be very, very annoying. So, how should I make it over here? That's not going to work. Does it really want that? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you do not heal with those. You might heal up to a certain point, yeah, because it healed me up to three. So maybe you heal up to half health with those things. Hi, friends. Luckily, there's another heal right here. But yeah, we got to keep out an eye, keep an eye out for those uh, little markers because it'll help us a lot. This is a weird experience too because I don't normally do. Uh, I don't normally play games I've played before, so uh, this is probably a bit of a different experience for everyone. Me kind of running through a game where I sort of know what I'm doing. I mean, sure, I still won't be great, but I kind of half know what I'm doing here, so we got that going for us. Bang, boom, boom. Of course, it has been a very, very long time since I played this as well. The first ever LP I actually did on the channel was Katana Zero, and that was... I was specifically playing a game I had played. Um, it was not a blind playthrough, as it were. Would you look at that? We need to go down here and get ourselves an orb. Mm-hmm. And that should allow me to get up here. Those get exceptionally hard, but yeah, this is the main collectible we're going to be collecting throughout the game, aside from the little uh, key bits that we're picking up <coughs> to uh, get new upgrades. So, oh, seems everyone to wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting? It's Power Seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you want to keep an eye out for hidden rooms. And who knows? May or may not have unlocked an overpowered upgrade. <laughs> oh, it's definitely overpowered. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. <clears throat> Unfortunately, at that point, you don't really need it. Um, I must say. Excuse me? Anybody else see this down here? Don't these look like breakable blocks? Uh, hmm. I don't have like a down slash or anything, so even if that is something, I don't think I can do anything with it right now, so. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here yet. I don't even know who you are. Oh, wait. Yeah, never mind. I have to die first. Oh, a new customer. Hey. What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name's Quarble. Quarble? At your service. I'm the one you never would have met, had you any skills. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you're about to die, I'll appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, so what's the catch? Well, for one, you'll still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. So, I'll stick around to steal your loot until either we're even or I'm bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Seems we have a deal. Glad we see eye to eyes. Carry on, then. Yay, we got Corbel now. I mean, it had to happen at least one once in the uh, first episode so that we would at least uh, get Corbel. I don't remember when I got Corbel uh, the previous time that I played this. Uh... Probably was around the same time, if I'm going to be honest. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. Get out of here. I wonder if any of these enemies that I'm seeing, that I've been seeing going around, showed up uh, at all in Sea of Stars. They probably did, right? I mean, I know some of the boss fights do, obviously, but... Like, these little shits, if I run into those... I guess that kind of looks like the weird turtle enemies I've fought a little bit, but they didn't stand on two legs. Yeah, Corbel, you write on your little notepad, all right? Alrighty. Big heal. Whoa, that's not ideal. Okay. We're fine. Do I really need to kill you? I don't think I do. I think I'm just gonna ignore you. That was bad. Okay, so that is a full heal. Good to know. 
All right, what's up? So, uh, so this is a big mysterious chest. Appeared when you smashed your first power seal. Still need to smash 44 power seals to open that. 44. Need anything? Okay, so second wind, press A while being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. Very useful. Level boss. Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. I forget to mention there's a giant leaf monster guard in the exit. You did. <laughs> that look on your face. Don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only come out during the full moon. Oh, that's cool. Because, yeah, we fought it um, when it was a full moon out. Because, yeah, the it specifically made a big deal of showing that the moon was coming out. That's crazy. God, it's, it's going to be so cool to see all of these things. Oh, is it a full moon right now? Yeah. Oh, that's... I didn't, I didn't mean to... But, uh, well, good luck. What do you want to chat about? Bye. Need anything? Later. All right, let's go defeat a leaf monster. Bam, 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 bam. Hi, leaf monster. Let's see if we can beat you first try. <clears throat> I don't have high hopes, but we shall see. Hi. Let's see, I can wall stick here. Um. Nope, that's not gonna work out. I'm just gonna have to run past you. All right. So should I try to hit you? Whoa, okay. There we are. That's why I got those. There we are. Gotta be careful. Hey, look, you're blinking. Oh, okay. Nope, I know that. Come back down here and fight me. Okay, you're here. There we go. Ah, I should have just ducked. I should have just ducked. Okay, now you're throwing them down. Yeah. Good. Okay, where are you dropping? Where are you dropping? Right here. Go away. Okay. Oh no! I thought I had enough time to jump over it. Oh, come on, that was an easy dodge. Are you playing with mittens on? I I am actually. Very chilly in here, you know. Definitely not what's happening. But yeah, ducking is probably a better call here. Ducking probably the better call. As I jump, after saying to do a different thing. Ow. Alright, well at least we've got you fairly low already. This one's the only one you have a little bit more trouble ducking. God, I can't believe I've already died. What a casual. Thought I played this game. There you go. And whoop. And whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Back down. Yeah, okay. The ducking is really all this boss fight is. Once you just duck instead of trying to dodge the projectile, we're good. So I used to having to jump over projectiles, but... Ow! Stop being a dummy! There we go. I was pretty close to winning last time, but... <clears throat> you know. It happens. And there we go! I ween. I'm a wiener. And we are out of Autumn Hills. Forlorn Temple, here I come. Ah, yes. Well, I have none of this stuff to spend. Do you have anything to say to me? Chat? Current area. Forlorn Temple, huh? It's a sad one. How so? Haven't paid much attention during history lessons, have you? Adventure types rarely do. I get it. So, the short of it is that four-headed monster who would have killed you earlier if that cooler-than-you hero hadn't intervened? That's the Demon King. He brought his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed their stronghold, forced them to retreat into hiding. And he's been sitting on their throne ever since. You mean this is all that is left of the human legacy? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way. I'll go and take down that Demon King right now. It wouldn't be the first to try. Well, I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery. Still too weak to consider taking on his, even his second in command. I'm going. Bet you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me. Oh, I will. <laughs> Any stories? Have any stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. Once was a princess looking for a suitable husband. She went. Uh, she sent an invitation to all neighboring princes. 
stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went, attempting to pass her test. You'll be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you to do is sleep on that pile of mattresses. The next morning, she would ask them how their night was. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply, confident they had proved they didn't fear the dark, or that they could be, they, or that they could be easy guests. They were all promptly dismissed. <clears throat> One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses, he went on. Looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. We got married the next day. No, oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pee underneath the pile so that anyone who was extremely sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yeah, but have you ever heard of what happened after? For the first five weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup was too, wasn't too hot, it was the cutlery that was too cold. When the music wasn't too, uh, wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes were itchy, the poems were predictable. Until one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for exactly that reason. Dawned on her just like that. Now this whole love story was nothing more than two, dis two people whose dysfunctions matched like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humble by regal standards, she realized that she was the only constant in all her problems, delved into personal growth, and then got a divorce. She lived happily ever after. And <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that riveting story. Alright. <clears throat> Back out into the Forlorn Temple. So we've only seen two of the, uh, whatchamacallums of power. Hey, we're going to the catacombs! <laughs> Surprise. Um, hi, you're adorable. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were an undead. What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a Fobekin? Fobekin? We're a tribe of builders. Technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. What's your name? Necro. Oh shit, little guy. Necro? You fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above, and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for stopping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Bye, little friend. And hi, bat. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and work on getting out of here. Should also mention these things. Yeah, you can't wall grab on those. That was why I had to fall there, basically. Hello. This really takes me back to playing, like, Shovel Knight and stuff, too. I've never actually done, like, a Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope playthrough, either. I played King of Cards on the channel, um, but I have never played Spectre of Torment, um, Plague Knight, or just, like, base, um, Shovel Knight. Well, I think I've played base Shovel Knight all the way through, but, um, not the other things. Hey, can you shoot some more projectiles? Please? The other one. Thank you. There we go. Hello. What do we got up here? We have a ton of this. Thank you, thank you. And we got a dead bat. <clears throat> Beautiful. What else we got? Nothing here. Doesn't seem like it. I would love to play like some of the Castlevania games sometime too. Even though I would probably be very, very terrible at them because those games are notoriously difficult. But, uh, there's a lot of really, really cool fan remakes and stuff of them that I would love to try sometime. Uh, I don't really need to go up there. Can go in here, though. There we go. Big heels. Bow, bow, bow. Hi. <clears throat> What's up? Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Bang, bang. Whoop! Uh, couldn't get away from it fast enough. I like how the skeletons run faster once you're on like the same level as them. All right. Uh, kill you. Now the door opens. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> I don't actually think this has like. As I'm hitting a bunch of walls like this one, but I don't think it has like. I wouldn't say Shovel Knight has, like, invisible walls, but they're more hidden than the wa hidden walls in this game seem to be. So, that's something to keep in mind, I guess. Because I haven't really... I've been hitting all the walls, just in case, but... Don't really think... I'm really bad at this. That there's, uh, anything to miss there. 
really. Okay, there's my checkpoint. Beat you up. We can go get a new upgrade. I think I remember maxing this tree out very quickly last time. <coughs> okay. Sometimes I will, uh, sometimes enemy will drop a globe that restores one key gauge for HP. Press X while swimming to boost forward. Yes, please. These are all things useful to me right now. Bootiful. Out of here. Uh, so we do have to watch out for the giant skull pendulum, obviously. Let's be careful to not get hit by that. Uh-huh. Go away, you. I will be greedy and go get that. And we're good. Oh, there was something there. I saw it. No, you don't. There we go. That dash helps for situations like that very, very much. Okay, so we have to not die here by getting smushed. We can't get smushed. Getting smushed is bad. As I got stuck on the wall and almost got smushed. But no, we're good. <clears throat> Give me my next power medallion. Boom, boom. And we go this way. And we're out. Cool. Uh, there we go. God, yeah, it's gonna be so much easier with the dash. I was actually hammering the dash button. Um, the last time we were swimming. And I was like, wait, why isn't it working? And I was like, oh yeah, that's probably a skill I gotta get. Bang. Good. And help a notice up here exists. Well, that's a few of the uh, medallions already, so I'm probably not gonna have to go back and get very many of them. And we do unlock the ability to fast travel at some point, so it's not like I have to walk all the way back to where each of the medallions are, luckily. Wee. And go, whoop. Still screwed it up. Even with my dash. Uh, nope. None of that, please. No. Okay, Bat, you're gonna need to come down because I'm not dealing with you on a platform like that. No. No. <laughs> I was scared. I was like, I'm gonna end up in the spikes, aren't I? No. We're good. Here, checkpoints. Whoop! Nope. I saw you. I saw you. Not getting by me that easy. No. Oh, I gotta check the wall. I really do. It's the Metroidvania in me. I have to check. What is this? Where do you go? Okay, you just drop down there. Oh. No. Good. Nothing here. No. Uh. Yeah, I was about to say, that's totally gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> yep, it sure did. That swimming section always reminds me of, uh, the, like, really, really difficult Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Screw that noise. Do not like this bat. Do not like this bat. There we go. Um, now that I think about it, can I destroy that kind of stuff with like... I want to say there's like a charge shuriken I can get at some point and it will destroy things like that. But maybe I'm crazy. That might be why you would want to land down on that platform down there. Maybe I could just destroy them with a regular shuriken. Possibly. I am absolutely 100% open to the idea that I'm going to be missing stuff here. Well, we're definitely not getting through that way. Yeah, I want to say there's something we can get to destroy stuff like that at some point. Because, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it definitely seems like there's some stuff hiding over there. Bang. Bang. Got it. All of that is sorted. Bye bye. And that's this room down. I don't think I missed anything there. Went through it a little bit fast, but oh, not a whiz robe. Get out of here, whiz robe. I'm not having. <laughs> I'm having none of you. Ooh, 
should probably save that, but we'll just take it and be on our way. Yeah, this video is definitely going to get up late today, but it's an hour-long video, so, you know, worth it. I'll be making it through quite a few areas. Another challenge room? Okay. No. There you are. That's it? That appears to be it. Good. Yeah, nothing too crazy so far. We've been, uh, we've been flying through this. I definitely think when I first played this, I would have died more times by this point. So. Ow. That's actually fine. I will take that. I don't think there was anything else in that room. Looks like there might have been a thing up there. Well, my... It won't make it. Yeah, we're not gonna make that. Unfortunate. It's fine, we'll just kill you this way. Beautiful. Bye-bye, skellies. More saves. Could we potentially have two boss fights in one episode? That would be kind of cool. That's another thing I've always kind of been interested in playing at some point, because I've never properly played them all, except maybe when I was a kid. The Donkey Kong Country games? They're a wild time. I did play Donkey Kong Country 1 with my wife recently, and we, like, mostly use save states, but I think the Donkey Kong Country game I actually played the most of when I was a kid was probably Donkey Kong Country 3, the one with Kitty Kong. But it would be cool to re-experience those games again at some point. Surprised they haven't been, like, they've been re-released, but never remade, but it's just not a whole lot of reason to remake them. They look fantastic. They play fantastic. You could add a few quality of life updates into them, but that's about it. And hit you, hit you. Good. Alright. I don't think I missed anything in that room. I believe we're good. Do wish I could get some more shuriken stuff, though. I feel pretty naked without my shurikens, but unfortunately I wasted them all. <laughs> That's not gonna come back, is it? Okay. Good to know. Uh... Here, over here, thank you. Was hoping that was gonna be a heal. Good stuff. I hate crushers so much. Every platformer I hate crushers because it's the thing that consistently killed me the most across my life, I swear. In like Souls games, it's falls. Like just gravity has killed me the most. In games like Mario and just platformers in general, it's crushers. They're so rude. So, so incredibly rude. Hey, just got all my shurikens back. Beautiful. Don't think that's enough to afford anything. I think we needed 200. Yeah, we're not we're not getting anything right now. But hey, saving up our currency is good. Uh, okay, we got a lot of things to talk about. Hey, now that epic raid on the Demon King go. Did you manage to save the world and restore your people's honor? It's not fair. The bridge was in shambles. Oh, we wouldn't have been we wouldn't have much of an adventure if you faced off against the big villain right away, now would we? What do you want to know about? Current area? Hey, you made it to the catacombs. Okay, anything I should know? Not really. It's pretty standard stuff. Skeletons? And bats. Oh, evil wizards too? You bet. Necromancer even took over. Spooky. Cliché. Suggest you get this area out of the way. There are more uh, original ones lined up. What do you do here? I study magic. Can you teach me? Not really. Why not? Because they're not ready. Ready for what? For magic. Come on, you just asked. No, but I meant... Believe me, learning magic's a lot harder than following a conversation. <laughs> any stories? You have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a poor old lady who had nothing in life, save for a small shack and a pear tree. A small shack and a pear tree, you say? Her name was Madame Misery. Well, that's not quite the character that is in, uh... Sea of Stars, but hey, the, the small shack and the pear tree adds up. 
Her whole family ate misery. Sometimes there wasn't even enough misery to go around. One day she was visited by a starving beggar, who asked whether she had any food to spare. She didn't, but her heart was as big as her situation was unfortunate. So she served the beggar a few clumps out of the tasteless broth she had simmering, and then invited him to help himself to a few pears. The beggar removed his cloak, revealing himself as a deity. He was disguised as a beggar to see whether or not there was any kindness left in the world. Yeah, that's a pretty common story. Touched by Madame Misery's generosity, he offered to grant her a wish. Let me guess, she didn't want anything and it's more about living frugally? Ah, no, this is good, let me continue. She mentioned a lot of people were stealing her fruits, which jeopardized her chance to eat every day. Her wish was simple, an enchantment on her pear tree, so that it would trap anyone who stole from it until she decided to free them. The divine visitor granted her wish and took his leave. Time went by and she scolded many thieves, but soon realized that most of them were starving children. She decided to take it upon herself to feed and educate them, and soon became the pillar of a thriving new generation. Ever happy and generous, Madame Misery got so old that her face looked like an elephant's knee. <laughs> knee? Rude. And then one day, death came for her. Death, following the protocol, inquired about her last request. I'd like to eat one last pear from my tree, she said. Would you be kind enough to grab one for me? Death climbed into the tree to grab a pear, getting trapped in the process. Old lady decided to never let death out of the trap. Since then, there has been misery in the world. The end. Right? What, what's the moral? Being selfless justifies being selfish later? Generosity begets misery? I don't know. It's a fairy tale for kids. I just thought the idea of death trapped in a pear tree was interesting. <laughs> what do you want to chat about? Level boss. I believe you have reached the necromancer's doorstep. Any advice? Very little is known about this villain. Okay, so no advice. Dodging anything that looks like evil magic would be a good start. Wow, great help. Well, I also recommend looking at my inventory for any useful upgrades. Really appreciate all the support. Look, the Necromancer's a newcomer. All we know for now is that he plans on taking over the world with his undead army. All we know. Sorry, I meant I. I'll... I... no. I, I'm t t totally on my own here. <laughs> okay. Later, later, shopkeeper. It's always a treasure. Every time. Alright. Let's go get our asses obliterated by a boss. I feel like I remember having a hard time with this one. <clears throat> and with this army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxton. Ahem. What now? We have a visitor. We don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil lab, do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing. Watch this. Ahem, who dares enter my lair? Uh-oh, is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. On guard, face the mighty might of Ruxton the Great. The mighty might, huh? Hi, yeah, Skull protects me, good to know. I also feel like Skull might fall down on me at one point, though. Or that. Okay. Um, how do I get you out of there to actually hit you? I wonder. Or can I just stand on this? Oh, I can just stand on this. I'm so used to contact damage and stuff that I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Well, there's all three of my uh, projectiles. Just like that. Ow! You shot four? Damn you, you little shit. Okay. Well, you're already blinking, so... That'll make my life a little bit easier. Slashy, slash, 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 slash. Uh, more of this. And it's moving. <clears throat> okay, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I didn't have a hard time with this boss. I feel like there might be two phases, though. Possibly. Like, Ruxton here is, a Kind of a, you know, like, fake fight. And then you fight the real one after. Maybe I'm misremembering, though. Okay. And slash 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 slash. Got a few more hits in in ya. Uh-huh. You can uh make Ruxton stop earlier. Hey friend. <clears throat> okay, that wasn't so bad. Bye bye. I yield. Wait, 
I don't. It's over. This evil thing's clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. I don't know. Just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What is all this brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh yeah? Now are you gonna accomplish uh, anything if I'm not carrying you? Well... I could... That... That's... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Settled, then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. Later, Ruxton. Later, Ruxton. How you doing? Carry on, messenger. And... Yep, nothing else to do in here, really. Let's just continue onwards. Oh, I see that bamboo! Oh, I see it. It's time for, like, one of my favorite songs, if not my favorite song. Oh, yeah. Uh... Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to jump off that. I gotta guess the you would just fall like that. Yep, or fall just like that. All right, we're up to two on the death count. We're we're up there. Uh, so I wonder if I can just. There we go. That's what I was trying to do last time, but failed miserably. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I want to get up there. Keep missing it. No. That's what I wanted. Jeez. Beautiful. Eh. Getting pelted by everything right now. Yeah, go ahead and get all your currency, little friend. One, two. I'll get this heal over here and we'll be good. Beautiful. God, I love this song so much. I cannot describe how often I have listened to this song. It's on my workout playlist, even. It's a good workout song, too. Don't think I've missed uh, anything around here. Don't think so. Bang, bang. I think we can go for maybe one more checkpoint. Do I have enough for anything? We have like six minutes. That's probably enough. Upgrade. Okay, I can't afford. The Serendipitous Mines and HP. I do like the key charge, because uh, that can just help me solve more situations a little bit better. Hmm. Nah, you know what? We should probably end there. We should probably end there. I still got to render this and get it up today. So, yeah. Thanks for joining me on my adventure back through the messenger. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit different of a playthrough, but hopefully people still like it. So. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.